tuned to this. Okay, I'm skipping all the dark stuff in the beginning. We're going straight to the riff. Uh, and in this riff, certain strings need to overlap. So the first bit is this. So it's A, A, B, 0, 2 on the A string. And straight to the open G string. Um, and that's down, down, up on the picking. Your next note is a, what is that, F sharp, uh, fourth, fourth fret D string. And you got a A note here on the second fret G string and a hot, uh, open E, open high E. I would suggest everything be pretty separate, like the notes, until you get to um, when you get to that. Those can kind of ring out together. Second part, you're outlining a C. So that's second fret D string to a third fret A string. And then you've got an open G again. Uh, F sharp on the D, which is fourth fret G. D, fuck, hold on. That guy. Find that guy. And then the other couple that need to kind of ring out together is this guy right here. And what I do is, it's like a power chord. Flip your fingers around. Uh, so you're sliding from the A string four to six. And then a big low, uh, low E. Sharp G. Which is your D chord here with an open high E. is in the key of E minor and you're just kind of note wise you're doing E minor stuff and uh, the crux of the biscuit is E B D and that kind of body but Randy puts in some things to keep it E minor -y. so here we go so it's na 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 which is like but instead of doing D power chord E power chord He's keeping it higher. So that's four, five, four on the D. You got a E seventh fret on the A string. Back to your F sharp here. Get that in. Back to the E. And then you've got these two stringers. Uh, seventh and ninth fret. If you use that finger or these two fingers, you slide up. Then you're right back to the E, the power chord. Now when you go to B, slide up half step. D here, so you can smack that high E, which I hear on the recording. Next part, uh, 15 on the G and high E. And then here you've got B string, 17. And you're just going, dang, doing a sweep. You've got to believe in yourself. Uh, F sharp. D. B, E, open A string, half, half step, D, Soft part, D string, 
second fret, your pinky on the fifth fret of the G, and basically you got that going. But you're also using an open A and an open high E, so you got like. You get to there, E. C, D, open, that kind of thing. Picking, I don't know what the picking pattern is, I don't know, just, I'll try to play it slow, just get it, in, if you get the shit in the ballpark, who gives a fuck, but here goes. And then uh, the E. So you can put that E here. And the rest is diminished. So you got, um, what is that? B string three. G string four. Open high E. Now, my favorite part. A sharp power chord. Now, so it's A the sharp, it's A, G, F sharp. I think you can get away with that. But if you want to. And then the, the motif is. And that's just uh, open E, open B, and third fret G. You got a buddy, they do an octave higher. And I would suggest that dude go use harmonics. So it's from here. C. That's C, B, G, F sharp. That never changes. Um, back there. It's right here. It's an A power chord. Take your middle finger here, put on the B string eight. Power chord here. Make the C. Um, I'll quickly show, I'm not showing you the solo unless you ask me to in the comments below. It's fairly easy-ish, but um, I'll play you the rhythm under the solo. It's in the key of of uh, E minor. What time you do it? B. Let's get back into the verse. C, C, D, C, B. Pull up on the old G. You know, you know all that. Uh, at the very end, there's a slight variation, and it's just... And it just keeps writing that until the very end, so you don't go to that second half. 